Hey, it's Brick Czar, and we're going to look at a vintage Lego set. It is a Lego train set from 1969. It is set number 123, the passenger coach. Contained 98 pieces. You did not get any track with this set. And it is an early train set from the 4.5 volt era. And it would have been one that you would have put on blue track at that time, but it is completely compatible with trains of today. And the reason I'm looking at this set today is because Lego Mtron fan asked me if there was a set number 123. And this is the only Lego set that I know of that is number 123. So we're going to look at it. Okay, normally I like to wait till I actually have the instructions um, before I review a set, but I'm going to go ahead and review this one. Uh, I just printed out the instructions online. You can go to Brick Factory for the older instructions and uh, more recent instructions you can get from lego.com. They have a site there that has thousands of uh, Lego sets, the instructions, in case you lose yours. And Brick Factory, you can get these older ones like this. And th these are these ones from the 60s are usually simple models anyway. Not a lot to it. Um, you do have the two special pieces are the INT, INT Europe, INT Europe. I think that might stand for International. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find anything with that abbreviation why they use that. So you get two of those one by what eight bricks with that printed on them. That's your special pieces. Other than that, it's relatively common pieces. Uh, I mean, there's pieces not made anymore like these magnets, but they're, they were in a lot of sets, so they're not rare. This is unique to this set. And then you just got one by two transclear bricks. You got two by four yellow plates there. They're not one bys, they're two bys. You got two by three red plates up here. And then you got a big six by 16 gray. This is the old gray. Plate. And these parts normally would all be pat pending. I think I may have some in here that aren't pat pending that I used. And then you got your wheel holders. Now these wheels, they roll, but they're not the best. There's a little bit of friction there. They're not as free rolling as modern Lego wheels, but they still work. But it, it would cause a lot of friction if you made a longer train, and sometimes they might uncouple at the magnets. So this is the type of track it would go on, the blue track. You have a blue magnet on one end and a red magnet on the other end because you have your north and your south, and I don't remember which is which, but the uh, likes would repel and the opposites attract. So uh, the, these, the magnets don't flip around like the modern magnets. If you notice your Lego magnets on your trains today, they'll, they'll spin around so that they'll orient where the north and south can attract each other and pull it, but they didn't have that feature on these, so you could only attach them one way once you got them on there. So that's set number 123 from 1969, so it's 44 years old, but despite being that old, you could still hook it up to a modern train such as the Horizon Express although it would look ridiculous running behind the Horizon Express you could put it on the Lone Ranger train any of those it will fit but it just might not look right so but it's it's a nice little passenger car uh, from the vintage era of Lego trains so comment below tell me what you think about this old Lego train set and Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We do vintage Lego reviews and new Lego reviews, Lego hauls, and more. Thanks for watching, Bricks Art.